So college starts tomorrow and my first class is at 8.10 and literally I've just been looking on canvas at all the different things that I'm gonna have to do and I'm just like oh my gosh like do I need to do any more things to like be prepared and all I had to do was like for stats was record an intro video just to like find your friends and I'm like oh my gosh that already stressed me out and I need so much help because I'm so stressed this is so stressful Why are you being so loud? I need help! Help! Is this you? Are you an incoming freshman and you're stressed about college because Corona stopped half of your senior year and you don't know how to learn anymore or be organized? Well, do we have the video for you! But more for me because I'm a very stressed college student and I start tomorrow. <laughs> Someone help her. <laughs> I'm so stressed! Okay, no, I'm fine. <laughs> She's actually starting school tomorrow, like... <laughs> oh my god! Hi friends, I'm Brianna. And I'm Isabella. What? I'm Isabella! I'm really stressed. And I thought it would be a great idea to give Bella some advice on how to be successful in college. I'm gonna go over some tips on like how to schedule, what to use for scheduling, and hopefully this will answer your questions if you're feeling a little just even a smidge of what Bella is feeling. Also, this is gonna be a um, interactive video, so Bella's actually gonna make her <laughs> do all the things that I tell her to do right now. Here we go! How do I manage my time in college? Sponsored by watermelon. Awesome. Watermelon sugar. Hi! My first tip is to use GCAL. What the heck is a <laughs> GCAL? I don't know if anyone says that, but my friend, shout out to Daniel, said that to me freshman year and I couldn't, couldn't let it go. So we filmed this video kind of late and after editing, I realized that you should probably do some things before you jump into Google Calendar. Step one is to list out all your commitments by priority. This will help you budget time for the most important things. Next, you'll want to create a color coding system. So assign a color to each of your different commitments. And one thing I like to do is assign similar colors for related events. So for example, class time, I would use a light purple and then studying I would use a darker purple and that's the same colors that Bella ended up using for her calendar and once you've done these two things now it's time to start building out your calendar first what you want to do is put in all your classes it's 8 10 so you can literally just click that says 8 p.m. oh shoot oh not not p.m. <laughs> not p.m. <laughs> Bella is gonna miss all your classes not 7 30 so when you're putting in your classes too, here's another tip. Change the frequency of your event. Oh, so you custom. go to custom oh. and you can click in Wednesday and Friday. And then it asks you how many occurrences. So you can just end it on whatever finals week is. Once you're done creating events for your classes, work down the list of commitments that you made. Me and Bella both started with setting aside time in the morning to spend time with Jesus. And when I was in college, I would also block out time for work and all the other clubs that I was involved in. I would also block out time to eat because sometimes I forget um, I know that's not a good thing after you add all those events into your calendar it's time to block out time to study it's so helpful to see an actual event in your calendar with a set amount of time and a specific assignment you're gonna work on because it can get tempting to see your calendar and see that you have all this free time and then you'll want to procrastinate or hang out with your friends and the next thing you know you're staying up all night to finish a project because you didn't budget enough time in the beginning so this tip I think is the most important tip out of all the tips I'm gonna give you guys today then you'll have your calendar all blocked out and you'll know when you're free to like hang out with your friends and do other things. And another tip is you can create a new calendar and put all your events for like whatever club you're involved in into that calendar because you can hide that calendar and yeah, at least you'll like know when the events are happening but you don't necessarily like have to commit to them. Yeah, and those are all my tips for Google Calendar, so. Anyways, Bella, do you feel prepared? I just feel organized. I don't feel prepared. It's okay. Oh, it's on my thing. It knew lunch 120. It has like a little food thing. On the app, you can look at it in different views. So I usually never look at it like that because that overwhelms me. Yeah, that looks true. But if you do like a week, then you can be like, oh, this is my week. And then, <gasps> and then if people are like, hey, Bella, when are you free? Never. That's a I'm grinding all the time. 
Here's another way to be organized. What I did was I would print out calendars and I would write down everything that I had to do for the whole quarter. The like assignments and stuff? Yeah, and then I would highlight each assignment in a, like a different color that corresponded to the class I was taking. So then you can see like, oh, this day's gonna be really busy. I have a lot to do that day. You could also do this in Google Calendar by adding reminders each day, or you could create whole new calendars so then you can have the different colors. But when I was in college, I preferred a physical calendar. That's up to you guys. You can literally do whatever you want. This is just what worked for me. Anyway, so this is how to organize your life in college. Use Borrow Google Calendar. This is basically a Google Calendar ad. Google, please sponsor me. Google, please give me a job. Celebrate your GCAL with a good old cake made by your younger sister. And if it's not made by your younger sister because you don't have one or she just doesn't want to make cake, that's fine. Go buy a cake. If it's too late at night, uh, that's so tough. <laughs> make a cake yourself. Am. Alrighty, we're gonna enjoy this cake now. Thanks so much for watching this video. Like and subscribe this video. And enjoy a fat slice of cake, cause you deserve it. You deserve it. Let us know if you have any questions on GCAL. Or on studying or organizing. Or on life. But loads of knowledge. But loads, I graduated college. Okay, bye. Is that good? I didn't really know what to do. I didn't know either. Welcome to the studio. It's honestly pretty nice. What are you doing? <laughs> guys, are you I'm guys excited? Oh, yes. nice. What? Are you excited for college? No. Yes. Um, I'm trying to think of if I miss anything about Google Calendar. I don't like Google Calendar. <laughs> Why? Because you don't know how to use it. Like, what are you? <laughs> they have for like school. Oh, like, is that why you don't like it? Because it's telling you what work is due. <gasps> Do you like Google Calendar? She's like nine. <laughs> I need to schedule what I'm gonna do for my breaks. I need to schedule five breaks a when day. I'm doing my slime. I would schedule that if I was a nine year old. You wanna hear some study tips, Bella, on how to be successful? Yes. Is the cake done? We have to finish. Oh my gosh, you celebrate completing your G Cow with the Tres Lunches cake. <laughs>